Ryzen 7000 CPU prices are falling and here's why I still wouldn't buy them. Now, while the higher end of the 7000 series is quite compelling and genuinely great, the lower end just still doesn't have quite enough value. The 7600X is available for roughly $250 and while that's a lot better than the MSRP, there are still other compelling options. There is the 13600KF that's a bit more expensive but destroys it in multi-threaded performance and you can also use cheaper DDR4 memory. And there's also so AMD's last gen, the 5700X is about 10% slower in multi-threaded but a lot cheaper and on a cheaper platform. And I'm gonna go more into the specifics of the platforms in the longer version of this video on YouTube. But for right now, thanks for watching and follow for more tech news. Whoa, this is the YouTube video where we go into uh, deeper specifics for the platform. So anyways, first of all, let's take a look at the prices. So we have quite a reasonable price drop, about 20% in Europe is a bit more expensive but it's falling as well. And the first thing I want to mention is that the higher end chips, uh, in particular the 7950X, uh, these are both like really great deals if I was actually just building a super high end computer. Th these are the chips I would go for, of course, on the mainstream platform. That's what I mean, the super high end, because then, of course, you have other options such as Threadripper, Epic, and stuff like that. But the thing is, uh, I uh, I still don't think the 7600X is good enough of a value, you know, sure they're great cores, but there's only six of them in 2022, so now I'm just gonna go into the alternatives. So first we have the 5700X, the previous gen 8 core part. Uh, processor of the 5000 series family uh, this thing is currently 200 euros in europe it's even cheaper in the us and if we just look at the benchmarks right here uh this might be a little bit mis misleading because this is single core performance a lot of stuff is multi-threaded these days not to mention it's going to continue to be more and more multi-threaded uh, and uh, also you know uh, multi-threaded is what really counts when you actually use your computer you know when you don't just set up a benchmark and just test it on a fresh install of windows when you actually have tons of other software like game downloads, VPNs, all that kind of stuff running in the background. That's what, when you are really going to be taking advantage of the more cores. Uh, so right here we can see as far as multi-threaded performance goes, uh, the previous processor is about 10% slower. Uh, however, it's going to be quite a bit cheaper, uh, not to mention. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, so here we go. This is the European 7600X. So as you can see, a lot cheaper, not to mention it is on the older, cheaper platform. You know, the X570 motherboards are a lot cheaper. DDR4 is a lot cheaper. If I was going budget, uh, this is probably something that I would be looking at. Next, we have Intel with their 13th generation of processors. So this is the 13600KF. And I just want to mention 12th gen of Intel might be pretty interesting to see as well if you're able to get some good deals. But as you can see, this thing isn't all that much more expensive. Plus, I mean, it can actually be kind of cheaper if you're going to be running it uh, with DDR4 memory, for example. And if we look at some of the benchmarks, uh, so single core, is it's pretty much the same thing. You know, it really doesn't matter that much. But multi-core, the 7600X gets pretty destroyed. And that's simply because uh, the Intel part has 14 cores versus 6. It has 8 more cores. Now, of course, it has the eight extra efficiency cores, which everyone likes to hate on. But I mean, the thing is those eight cores are still as powerful as just full processors from just a few years ago, you know, and this is going to help you a lot more in the long run as well. Uh, when I mentioned multi threaded performance before. Now, another thing that a lot of uh, people like to point out is that this new seven generation, uh, 7,000 series Ryzen CPUs have a new platform that's going to be supported for a few more years. And that is a good argument. It's going to be supported for like four, five, six years. Now, all I'm going to say about that is that in the past with the previous Ryzen CPUs, when you actually try to put a newer CPU on an older platform that did support it, uh, you could get some weird issues. There was a lot of memory issues in particular. Plus, I would argue if you're actually going to be buying even a 7600X, are you really going to be upgrading it in four years already? You know, if you are, I would say you probably need a better computer right now. You know, that's what I usually do. I just build a new computer that's even above my current needs. Uh, so then, you know, it will just last longer and uh, I'll just be enjoying higher end performance. And in the long run, you probably save some money. Plus, the thing is, if in four years you still want to upgrade, the thing is uh, selling a just a chip, a used 
7600X versus selling a whole computer and just building a whole new computer on a newer platform uh, is going to be a lot easier to sell just a full functioning computer. So to round it all up, if I was building a very expensive computer, I would probably go for the top uh, Ryzen 7000 series CPUs. If I was going budget, however, or even mid-range, I would definitely keep my eyes out on Intel's 13th gen. Uh, I would also uh, look at Ryzen's 5000 series uh, generation of processors in Intel's 12th gen because those are going to be older parts. Uh, you might get crazy great deals. You know, there's still great platforms that have been out for a while. So, you know, they're very stable as well. So personally, uh, I uh, I wouldn't be buying the 7600X. I would either go for this 13th gen part or just see uh, what Ryzen 5000 series has to offer. You know, maybe you get a great deal on something like a 12 core 5900X. That's me anyways. You know, I always just try to get the most value out of where I spend my money. Let me know what you think and, uh, you know, have a nice day.